liking these apple chips because I get a lot of questions about them. Um, but they're actually really simple. I won't say easy because it might take a few times to really get it right, but simple definitely. And you might think, what? All this work for a couple of chips? Yeah, it, you know, it is what it is. But they're so good. They're I, good. <laughs> and I was making them this morning and well, I'll tell you in a second. The first trick to making these apple chips work is to slice your apples super thin. And so, well, not that thin, but I think that's the hardest part. But if you can get a thin slice that's almost see-through, then you'll for sure get a crunchy apple. And no need to core it. If you have any seeds in the middle, they'll just fall right out. You put your thin slices in some simmering boiling water with um, either a cinnamon stick or ground cinnamon. This makes your house smell amazing. So boil the cinnamon and they'll be great. So simmer them for about 15, 20 minutes until they kind of get thin or clear. See like that. And then what you're going to want to do is pat them dry put it on a cookie sheet, and bake. That's all there is to it. You can bake it at 250 for anywhere between 30 minutes and an hour if you want, 20 minutes, whatever. If they come out a little bit soft, it's okay because they'll crisp up a little bit. Here's the ones I made this morning. They kind of curl up on the ends, but then they get crispy. Mm -hmm. And you see, I didn't have to core that, but the seeds fell right out of the middle. I'm gonna taste it. And we're gonna try it. Mmm. Super crispy. crispy. All there is is apple and cinnamon. That's so ah. good. And it's really mild. It's not sweet. It's perfect for your little toddlers. Mm -hmm. If they suck on it or gum it long enough, it'll just turn soft and <laughs> melt in their mouth. Mmm. Thanks, Amy. Good luck. <laughs>